Welcome to RYB Electrical. In this video, I will tell you 35 different types of hammers names and uses. Claw Hammer A claw hammer is perhaps the most popular hammer among home users, woodworkers, carpentry and furniture, and metal workers. You can drive nails with the face and remove the nails using the claw. A claw hammer is usually made up of a metal head and a wooden handle. Framing Hammer Even though it looks very similar to a claw hammer, the framing hammer is a specialized tool used for wood framing. It is a must-have tool for carpenters and woodworkers who often drive nails into frames walls of houses. It is slightly longer and heavier than a typical claw hammer and also has a fairly straight claw. As a result, it is not the best option for removing nails. Ball Peen Hammer Also known as the machinist's hammer, a ball peen hammer has flat face on one side of the head and a ball-shaped face on the other side. Metal workers often use the round part of a ball peen hammer to shape metal without denting it. Tack Hammer the tack hammer is also known as upholstery hammer as we use it to drive small nails and brads into fabric or leather. It is a precision tool with a slim profile and is light in weight. Some tack hammers have a magnetic head to easily handle nails and tacks. Sledge Hammer a sledgehammer is a heavy-duty hammer that is often used for demolition work to break down walls and other masonry. It has a large metal head with face on both sides and a long handle to easily swing it. Mallet Hammer A mallet has a large rubber, sometimes wood but very niche, head with a relatively small handle. We use mallets to knock or tap on objects with soft blows without damaging or denting. You can use a mallet to knock on woods to join them or on a chisel while carving. Cross Peen Hammer One side of a cross peen hammer is a regular flat head, but the other side is wedge-shaped peen. If you are worried about hitting your fingers while peening a panel, then the crosspin hammer is very useful due to wedged sides. Straight Pin Hammer It is very similar to the crosspin hammer. But the main difference is that the wedge pin is aligned horizontally in a crosspin hammer whereas it is aligned vertically in a straight pin hammer. Club Hammer a club hammer is a miniature version of a sledge hammer in the sense that it has a small handle and a relatively small head. The head is still large when we compare it to other hammers. It isn't practical to use a club hammer for hard demolition jobs, but we can use it for light demolition works or to break stones and masonry. We also use club hammers to drive chisels and masonry heads where precision is not important. Dead Blow Hammer Even though it is similar to a mallet, a dead blow hammer is very rarely used tool. Woodworkers and automotive garages use this hammer to give soft blows with very less recall. It is often made with soft rubber or plastic as not to damage or form dents in the surrounding parts. Electrician's Hammer an electrician's hammer is very similar to a claw hammer, but the main difference is its long neck. This longer than normal neck will help electricians reach difficult places such as access holes of distribution boxes. Welder's Hammer A welder's hammer is also known as a chipping hammer as welders primarily use it to chip or remove the waste or slag around a welding point. It is a niche tool and is not for everyone. Body Mechanics Hammer 
A body mechanics hammer has a unique shape with a round and flat head on one side and a pointed pin on the other side. Its primary use case is in automobile body workshops for removing dents and other car repairs. Tinner's Hammer This hammer has a square and flat head on one side and pointed cross pin on the other. Metal workers often use tinner's hammer while metal roofing as they can easily roll the edges of metal and also work on the seams. Lineman's Hammer A lineman's hammer, as the name suggests, is used by linemen who work on utility and telephone poles. The main job of these tools is to hammer large bolts and screws. This hammer has dual circular flat heads on either side and a rubber grip handle that acts as a shock absorber. Rock Hammer Despite its name, a rock hammer is not intended to smash rocks but to break small rocks very carefully. Geologists, archaeologists and historians use these hammers for excavation, creating holes and removing vegetation. As a result, the rock hammer is also sometimes known as a geologist's hammer. Brass Hammer The brass hammer comes with a double circular head that has a slightly larger impact area. We use this hammer for driving steel pins without affecting the surrounding areas. Woodworking and automotive workshops often have this tool. Rip Claw Hammer If you want a heavy-duty claw hammer, then a rip claw hammer is the one for you. But unlike a regular claw hammer, its claw isn't curved but a straight one. This helps in demolition jobs to rip materials. Construction and demolition workers have this hammer in their collection. Bushing Hammer a bush hammer or bushing hammer is used by masonry workers to create textures on concrete. The face of the head is not flat but has pyramid-like structures to create decorative patterns on stone or concrete. Hatchet Hammer The hatchet hammer is a cross between a hammer and an axe. One side of the head is a circular hammer with a flat face while the other side has an axe blade. Most survival and emergency kits have these hammers. Brick Hammer You can shape or split bricks, concrete or stones using a brick hammer. One side of the head has a flat square face and the other side has a sharp chisel pin. Masons and bricklayers use these hammers in construction jobs. Copper and Hide Hammer This particular hammer is not that famous but is used to shaping metals. The head has a combination of copper and raw leather and it allows working on delicate metal parts such as car body without damaging other parts. Planishing Hammer a planishing hammer is used to smooth or flatten metal with light blows. The head has a unique convex cylindrical shape on both sides. Shingle Hammer As the name suggests, a shingle hammer is used to cut shingles. It is also known as roofing hammer. Some shingle hammers have magnetic head to attract nails. Splitting Maul Hammer It is a cross between an axe and a sledge hammer. One side of the head has a sharp axe blade to split wood and the other side has a heavy-duty sledge hammer using which we can hammer wood or drive nails very deep. Scaling Hammer A scaling hammer has a vertical chisel on one side of the head and a pick on the other. These hammers are often used to remove scaling, rust, paint, and other coatings. Soft Face Hammer 
When we talk about hammers, we usually think of metal's heads for hard impacts. But a soft face hammer is usually made from soft materials such as rubber, plastic, brass, copper, nylon, lead or cast iron. These hammers are used when working with delicate metals. Railroad Spike Mall Hammer This is a precision tool that, as the name suggests, used in railroads. Using this hammer, we can hammer railroad spikes onto tracks. The head is very thin when compared to other hammers but the long handle helps in applying a powerful impact. Baller Scaling Hammer this is also a scaling hammer that we use in boilers to remove scaling and other deposits from metal. Welders and fitters have this hammer in their toolkit. The hammer head has a unique dual chisel heads on both sides with horizontal and vertical faces. Scutch Hammer A scutch hammer is similar to a scutch chisel but in the shape and form of a hammer. Bricklayers and masons use these hammers for dressing and cleaning bricks. One side of the face is a familiar square flat face while the other side is a chisel-like scutch comb. These hammers are not known for their precision but they get the job done. Dental Hammer Hammers and chisels are used in dentistry from a long time. A dental hammer sometimes known as dental mallet, is a small cylindrical steel block as a single piece with two rubber or plastic ends on the either faces. The handle is also made up of steel with an easy grip. Dentists use these hammers to condense the material that fills up the cavity. Gavel Hammer a gavel hammer is used by judges and auctioneers to control the crowd or make a statement. They are usually made up of hardwood and hence they are a type of mallet. Jack Hammer This is primarily used in demolition jobs to break rocks, concrete, pavement and other hard surfaces. A jackhammer combines a chisel and a hammer and usually runs on compressed air. Small jackhammers are handheld, but there are large hydraulic tools that are mounted to an excavator or other similar large vehicles. All product links shown in this video will be given in the description box. If you like this video then please support us by giving your opinion in the comment box. Please like, share and subscribe our channel.